What is up my friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the very anticipated Huda Beauty Lip Blushes. More specifically, these are called the Lip Blush Creamy Lip and Cheek Stain. So I got all five shades and I will be trying all five of them one by one in today's video so you guys can see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm so excited to play with some makeup. So why don't we go ahead and start with our first impressions and just dig in and try some makeup. I feel like I'm at Sephora right now and I'm just, you know, playing with makeup. <laughs> First and foremost, I love the packaging that they went with. It's almost like a, what would you call it? Like velvety matte finish and the outside color of the packaging matches, I believe, the color on the inside. And um, I think that's really, really cute. It gives us a very nice, beautiful visual. I love that they made these very compact. They're kind of smaller. They're really nice and cute and they look like they could very easily fit in like a little purse or even in a wallet if you wanted to take them on the go so that you can touch up. I always bring a lipstick with me to touch up my lips like always. That's like a must-have in my bag. So I love that they're compact and small and pretty. Other than that, let's check the applicator on this. We have a very interesting applicator. So the thing about this applicator is I felt like it was going to be one of those like chunky um, oil lip applicators that are really trending right now in the market, in the makeup industry. Honestly, um, right off the bat, the intensity of the color looks intense. I really thought, I don't know, I really thought it was going to be a lot more toned down. So I really wonder what this would look like on the lips and even on the cheeks. And my big question in terms of applying the lip blush is will it leave a stain? And if it does leave a stain, is it going to be a pleasant, um, non-harsh stain? This is my first time trying any and all of these lip blushes. So um, I don't know what the colors are gonna look like, but I will say, I think I should start the application from lightest to darkest um, so that way in case these lip blushes do stain I don't end up with like you know the darkest color on my lips and then I can really get a good sense of what the lighter color might look like. Alright so we are nice and zoomed in now and the first shade that I'm going to go into is going to be Peachy Kiss. Oh my god wow look at that so amazing pigment is off the charts wow oh, this is so pretty okay so check this out this is what peachy kiss looks like on the lips and i have to say this is so beautiful and effortless i had a super easy time putting this on the application it feels like there's nothing on my lips right now it is so lightweight but yet i have the color and i think it's so flirty wow i am so impressed also i feel like i feel like it also has already dried down and it was just like I don't know like five seconds after applying it so there is no like stickiness to it i would say the finish of this is like like a velvet it doesn't feel like that thick matte feeling after applying a lip stain it doesn't feel glossy it just feels like a velvet like talking to you right now and moving my lips the way that i'm doing it like it's so light and effortless and i think it the way this went on is just amazing. So this is just one layer of peachy kiss and I think it's beautiful. I feel like I could definitely go in with the second layer and see what that would look like. But I think this is like the way that these lip blushes were meant to be used. Lovely. So next up is going to be apricot kiss. Oh wow. Okay, well, right off the bat, Apricot Kiss is definitely darker than our previous Peachy Kiss. Is that correct? Yes, we just went in with Peachy Kiss. This is Apricot Kiss. So, color is definitely more pigmented. Okay, check it out. So, this is what Apricot Kiss looks like. 
and I am really enjoying this color. I thought this was going to be a little bit more of a toned down coral, but I think it's beautiful. I think it really complements my specific skin tone, kind of like that medium olive -y, um skin tone. I think it goes very well with the coral. I also really loved how Peachy Kiss looked on my skin tone, but I think that Peachy Kiss is going to be like the ideal peach tone for light to medium skin tones, while Apricot could have been added to the collection to be a perfect coral for medium to tan skin tones. So thumbs up to Huda Beauty for being inclusive. I love that. I am gonna go ahead and remove this so that it doesn't completely stain my lips. And so I can go ahead and try the next one. And next up, I will go ahead and apply Rosy Kiss. Now this is one that I'm very excited to try. The lilac is the one that immediately stood out to me when I first saw the preview photos on the Huda website. Pretty. Oh, stop. I love this color. It's so nice. Wow. I love it. It's so me. I think this might be my favorite color. I mean, I still have two more that we still need to try on, but I gotta say, this color is everything i love the purple hues i think it complements my my makeup that i'm currently wearing the most of course i am wearing the new nude eyeshadow palette by huda beauty of course wow i think like the color like the pigment everything is like so spot on this is for sure a purple that is super wearable even in like the daytime summertime like yes i give this color all the yeses let's go ahead and snap for this color <laughs> give it a standing ovation because it deserves it so rosy kiss by far is my absolute favorite color that i've tried on thus far <sighs> okay so the next lip blush we're going to be trying on is coral kiss now this is the brightest color in this collection or at least that's what it seems like thus far most of the colors have matched kind of like the outer packaging so just by seeing this i am assuming this is going to be our brightest color that we're going to go in with and um i'm excited let's go for it mm, i'm a little nervous okay oh my god this is not what i was expecting it to look like oh my god wow this is so beautiful. Wow, I love this shade. And to be real, um, I thought I was not going to love it as much as I do. I definitely feel like Coral Kiss matches the natural shade of my lips the most, which is so interesting to me. Like I said before, I thought it was going to be the brighter, the brightest shade in this collection, but it looks so natural and amazing. Honestly, like this color is amazing. I love it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I love it. Honestly, I almost don't want to take this off because I love it so much. And last but not least, we have Berry Kiss. I can tell it looks very purple, like a dark plum almost. Oh, that's dark. Wow. Mm. It's berry, all right. I'll tell you that much. Well, it's beautiful. It is definitely a plum color and um, it's for sure the most intense out of all five of the lip blushes. And I think it's beautiful. I think for a purple, it went on very well. Like purple is a really, really difficult lip stain shade to get right because purple since it's so intense has a tendency of being patchy and you know not as even as other shades the application went on so seamlessly i think it's very beautiful and elegant i would consider this more of a nighttime 
shade for somebody who's a skin tone like myself right now i am a little bit more tan than i usually am but i do want to add that i think berry kiss would be an excellent shade for ladies and gents who have more of a tan to deep skin tone shade if i was doing makeup like on a bride who was like a very beautiful deep ebony shade this would complement their skin so nicely. All right, so I went ahead and reapplied my Coral Kiss Lip Blush because I felt like that's the one that I love the most so far. And because I feel like Coral Kiss went on the best and most natural for my skin tone, this is the lip blush that I'm going to be using to apply on my cheeks because I definitely want to try out my Huda Beauty Lip Blush for lip and cheek on the cheek. Now for this, I will be using two application methods. I will be going in with my beauty blender on one side and then I have a kabuki flat brush on the other side. If it doesn't work, I'll just go ahead and use a much fluffier one or I don't know, I'm just going to go ahead and feel it out as I go. I think I want to start with my beauty blender. I think I'm just gonna kind of dab it on and then and then try to blend it out as best as I can. Okay, so here we go. Definitely concentrate it around the cheek area, the apples of the cheek, and then I'm just going to blend it out as soon as I can ASAP. Okay, I do feel like it's removing some of my foundation. What should I do? Okay, so I think I'm just going to reapply some of my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. I am the shade Syracuse. Do it on top of the blush. So you know what? While that dries, how about we go in with this side using our brushes. So this is the best way that I feel like I can apply it. I think I'm gonna use my fluffy brush. That's pretty, I like that. I think that's very pretty and flirty and very like subtle. Um, not as pigmented as I was thinking it was going to be because on the lips, these lip blushes are like pigmented, but on the cheek, it's looking pretty nice. How about we do a second layer? I think that's a good idea. Wow, so pretty, look at that. It definitely picked up the intensity and I think it looks so beautiful. Using a lesser dense brush definitely helped my application, I feel. I think if had I used my Kabuki brush, it might have concentrated the pigment a little bit too much on just like one section. Um, I will say, I can see how some of my foundation came off right there. Also, you can see where I set my under eye area, like there's kind of like a line right there. Yeah, I can definitely see some separation happening. Although I really do like how the color came out, it's kind of not working very well with the rest of my products. So now that this side of my face has dried, we're now going to try our lip blush using our Beauty Blender as the applicator. I have a fresh layer of NARS foundation right here. Okay, so let's blend it out. Okay. All right, so I don't see color. I don't see as much color on this side as I did with my brush application. So how about we give it a second layer? Also, I do feel like the Beauty Blender removed some of my foundation. Okay, so I'm going in with a lot. I really wanna, you know, give this lip blush a good chance here, but as you can see, a lot of the product went on my Beauty Blender. So what if I blend it in faster? Mm, it's not showing up. So it's not showing up. I feel like it just keeps removing my foundation. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that this formula might be water-based. And if it is water-based, I wonder if that's causing my foundation to kind of just wipe out. Yeah, so the first ingredient is water. This is water-based. Maybe the Beauty Blender is just acting as a sponge and just absorbing all the moisture and taking away all of my lovely lip blush color. I'm starting to not love kind of the finish of it as much as I did originally, but I just applied a fresh coat of my NARS foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and um, reapply some of my lip blush in the shade Coral Kiss using a nice fluffy brush. This is the moment of truth, guys. If my makeup application fails on this side, I don't know what else I can do. 
um because i feel like i've given the blush um, its best chance thus far on the cheeks so let's go ahead and quickly quickly blend out our blush okay there i don't want to over blend it so that looks pretty um i still feel like you know some of my foundation is coming off but i think it's very pretty and natural um i definitely had way more success using a nice fluffy brush over using just a regular beauty blender let me go ahead and give you a zoomed in look at our finished results so as you can see i can definitely see the patch right there um this is what the lip blush looks like on the cheek after applying a fresh layer of the nars natural radiant foundation i still feel like the product is you know coming off a little bit but on the lips it's immaculate we gotta say it's immaculate all right guys so for my final thoughts on our new huda beauty lip blushes for lip and cheek I felt like they were spectacular lip stains. They went on so well, so evenly. The color pigmentation was there, as you saw. Um, I think they are very dynamic, and I think they will definitely look different on different skin tones, which is a good thing. Of course, we love that. I feel like these are going to go on so much better on the cheek on somebody who doesn't wear foundation. So I do want us to keep that in mind for sure. Um, bare skin, I feel like it's going to be way more wearable for these lip blushes since they are water-based. And that does it for this video, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I truly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed watching this video and found some value from it, please don't forget to subscribe down below and hit your notification bell. And like always, I wanna thank you so, so much for watching. I will be seeing you on the next one. <sighs> Bye guys.